What's up, guys? Blitz here today, bringing you a video we we've been talking about. We just finished up watching the Video Game Awards 2021. Halfway through, they decided to show a one-minute trailer detailing Final Fantasy VII Remake is coming to PC via the Epic Games Store December next week. While I'll be out of town, I will not be here and able to play the game. And it's very tragic to hear that. But you guys will be able to. Everybody that has been trying to play this game that, you know, has an Xbox or a PC that doesn't have a PlayStation or PlayStation 5 will be able to play this game on PC. And this also means that we're going to be getting amazing mods because it is going to be on PC. Hopefully, I mean, I mean, with the assets available on Epic Games, I'm hoping that those tools are available for modders to go ahead and do justice to the game by giving us amazing skins, awesome gameplay changes in various ways, and not to mention the fact that Yuffie in intermission, I wonder if they could take her like source code and put it into integrate and utilize the whole entire party as of what it is including red 13 or including red 13 if we're able to utilize all of them in vr training somehow via mod support that is something that i'm looking forward to and i'm hella hyped for so let me show you this final fantasy 14 is a mmo game that was released in 2010 then overhauled in 2013 but with the overhaul it's still a ps3 game and it's hard and it's not really the best looking game however and here's the crazy thing they don't support mods the final fantasy 14 development team they don't prefer mods they don't like it they don't support it it is what it is you know i'm not mad at them for it for whatever reason they don't like mods and support it however the community has come up with insane amount of mods like just if you look at the last popular mods here there's so many different ones you can look at popular all times my favorite one is the hair mods because in final fantasy 14 the hair looks absolutely ugly but you could actually mod the hair and make it look better and more sharper and more detailed colors with g shade and reshade all of this stuff exists i mean all different things as far as like um you know armor mods all that crazy stuff dude there's just so many good good things when it comes to final fantasy 14 on pc now with remake it's highly possible that the same stuff could happen the same exact thing could happen very well for for a remake so so you guys gotta imagine like final fantasy 7 has some of the craziest die hard fans mod support is gonna be crazy i mean the expectations <laughs> oh god the expectations guys we're gonna have crazy stuff from like i was talking about before we're gonna have crazy mods as far as like fixing the sector 5 skyboxes and like the situation with the uh the textures in the background of course the doors have already been fixed but there's lots of other textures and stuff in remake that still was a little bit left untouched that we on pc will expect to see improvements on but it can go even further beyond that i'm talking about like skins different weapons weapon skins on the playstation people were able to use a save editor to hack and put red 13 into the party and play as red 13. he doesn't play good he doesn't have a move set but on pc i'm pretty sure they can mod him up to be a little bit more competent have red 13 accessible or at least controllable in the sense of what sonon was for later portions of the game and i for one would absolutely love that replay it many times over for you guys to enjoy and we could go even further beyond that if you guys know when you play intermission or you play uh integrate the original game the vr mission allows you to control in integrate four players uh barrett era tifa and cloud but it you know in, in intermission with yuffie you can only use yuffie and sonon what if the modders were able to take the assets of the characters from the previous games like their source code and implement them into the vr training i believe that this is something that could very well work and probably wouldn't be too difficult if they can figure out how to get it going in the first place because it's technically the same game it's the same engine uh yuffie's battle mechanics work a little bit differently but i think taking her and putting her into intermission so that we can mix her into the party with uh say we can do a waifu party you know we could do a harem party we could do yuffie tifa and eric as a party we could do barrett cloud and red 13 as a party i think that would be fucking amazing man because the save editors what the save editors do it allows you to actually corrupt your file in a sense and remove a character from the party but have them in the background still and you're able to put red 13 in the party red 13 doesn't really have a lot of moves or anything like that so it is what it is but as soon as a cutscene comes up containing the party member that you removed say for example if you remove barrett from the party to put red 13 in it right 
Barrett still lingers in the back of the party, but once you get to a cutscene that includes Barrett, it crashes the game. On PC, they'll be able to take it a little step further and get it to run a little bit better in terms of mods. You know, like you know, I'm talking. We've got pseudo mods here in the chat, bro. I mean, I want to talk to this man. Right, we got to talk about the most important mod, the quintessential mod that you need to make sure is here day one. We need to be able to replace Andrea Rodeo with Sephiroth. So him and Cloud can do the honeybee and dance together. That is something that we need to we need to see. <laughs> you imagine big ass Sephiroth like <laughs> the model swab. Yes, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Sephiroth is Andrea Rodeo for the entire game. I think that's an amazing mod right there in itself, man. That, I would replay that scene countless times over and over again for sure but the craziest thing about all of this is that in the middle of the trailer i don't know if you guys saw it right there was a little segment where uh the whispers they were swarming around jesse and then there was some actually new footage that they showcased in there it was said that only 26.8 percent of people that watch these videos and love them are currently subscribed so hit that subscribe button if you guys are watching this because we got nothing but final fantasy 7 remake goodies coming at your way but even beyond that we got guides we got final fantasy videos we got in general lots of content for soldier stuff coming and you don't want to miss out on any of that and we also go live multiple times throughout the week and do plentiful giveaways like playstation 5s and fun stuff and uh yeah you don't want to miss out on any of that i do have another giveaway planned i bought a uh i bought a laptop recently for my travels soon and it came with a um it came with the crisis bundle uh gave me crisis one two and three uh for pc so i think i'll be doing a giveaway sometime this week next week about it and we'll uh, work it out and um some lucky person will get their pc to crash with crisis <laughs> So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you don't miss out on any more of this remake news. I got y'all. But seriously, I'm really excited about remake coming to PC. I knew it was coming for a while, but you know, it started to feel like it wasn't gonna be here this year, but sure enough, they actually went ahead and did those mad lads. Cause they said that the game was coming out six months after the release of Intergrade on other consoles or not consoles, but it'll just be available on other platforms. And PC is another platform that essentially show, goes to show that their marketing was actually on point for that. So yeah, your boy was right. <laughs> but that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Oh wait, that's stupid. Oh, let me, let me redo that. Let me redo that. But that's all for Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate news. It's coming to PC soon. I'm excited to play it. I hope you guys are as well. I'll be covering all news about it dropping. And, uh, you know, as far as mod support goes, we're going to be coming out with videos as far as, like, what mods are out now, what mods are cool, how to install them. So look forward to all of that because I do want to walk you guys through the process of not only enjoying the game through gameplay, which I already did last year multiple times over, but now I want you guys to enjoy the game in various different ways in the truest of ways ways that it was meant to be played that'll be something really good to see be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more final fantasy videos are coming your way and you won't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching